Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I got some very positive feedback on my Taoism and Xiu Dao videos. I also received a lot of interesting questions from the community related to fundamental topics of Xiu Dao. As an internal style disseminator, I feel very honored to have your support. If you watched my prior videos, you would have had some basic clarified knowledge about Taoism and Xiu Dao, including the differences between philosophical Taoism and religious Taoism. Some important terms used in Xiu Dao Dan Tian, stove and burner, primordial and postmordial, and so on. Like I said before, that in any learning process, we should emphasize both theoretical and practical aspect of a knowledge system. Due to the complexity of Xiu Dao and based on my teaching experience, I'm applying a teaching method that integrates both theoretical and practical aspect together and introduces it in a practical and systematic way. Also, in any knowledge system, we have to know some key terms or common language used in learning, teaching, and communication. This is why I introduce some key terms and related concept coming with those terms each time, and simultaneously introduce the overall structure of the system. By doing so, you will not get confused when I talk about Xiu Dao in specific terms in the future. Topics covered in today's video include First, San Bao or Three Treasures and its Origin. Second, San Bao in Xiu Dao. Third, San Bao's Significance. Fourth, Practice Time. Fifth, take aways. Before we continue, I would like to encourage you to study this type of knowledge. One may think that it is a culture and literary information, which seems a bit remote to our practice. Well, this mentality is just incorrect. I have never seen anyone who can practice and study Taoist system very well without sufficient background information. Based on my, on my years of teaching experience, I believe that we need some necessary background information in order to reach a higher level in practice. Please pay attention to this. So, let's get started. Topic 1. San Bao or Three Treasures and Its Origin Many masters in the history of Taoism claimed that the practice of Taoism was the practice of the three treasures and that was the way to achieve immortality. Again, immortality here does not mean that one will never die. Instead, it is the result of practice that one will live longer, healthier, and happier. Also, according to the Taoist belief system, immortality also means to free our spirit and to merge ourselves with the universe. Zhang Bo Duan, in his famous Taoist document Wu Zhen Pian or Understanding Reality, mentioned Yi Li Jin Dan Tun Ru Fu. 使之我命由我不由天, which translates to after swallowing an elixir pill, my life is determined by myself. Here, elixir pill does, does not indicate the physical pills. He clearly said that it is the internal elixir achieved after practicing Xiu Dao. By the way, Zhang Boduan was one of the most important figures in Taoist history, lived during 984 to 1082 CE. 
I will talk more about him in a future video. So, according to not only Zhang Boduan, but also many other Taoist practitioners before and after him, the term immortality is related to self-cultivation, self-determination, and self-liberation in Taoism, which was a profound concept thousands of years ago due to its significant impact on Taoist practice, especially the attitude toward life back then. And furthermore, a key concept in Taoist practice is to work on the San Bao. In other words, San Bao practice is the path to achieve the Great Tao. So, before we introduce what San Bao is in Taoist practice, we have to know its origin. My question to you is, what is the origin of this term? Well, San Bao was first mentioned in chapter 67 of Tao Te Ching. In this chapter, Lao Tzu said, I have three treasures that I keep and cherish. The first is mercy, the second is the moderation, and the third is not claiming to be the first in the world. Over a period of more than 2000 years, different scholars have given different explanations of these sentences based on their personal understanding. In the interest of time, I will not go deeper in explaining these sentences but instead focus on the term San Bao or Three Treasures. Lao Tzu used the term treasure to indicate that they were important and worth of being protected, maintained, and pursued. By the way, in Buddhism and religious Taoism, the term San Bao can mean different things related to religious practice. To summarize this part, the origin of the term San Bao or Three Treasures are from Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, meaning that three things are considered as a treasure by him and the later Taoist practitioners. Then, what are the three treasures beyond Lao Tzu's three terms in practice? Let's keep going. Topic 2. San Bao in Taoist practice. I already introduced the stove and the burner concept in my Taoist intro video. Link is in the description. Please have a look if you haven't already. In Taoist practice, what will be the next step after having a stove and a burner? Well, the next step is to refine the medicine in the stove and the burner. Please be careful there that all of these terms including stove, burners, and medicine are metaphorical in Taoist practice, which can be misleading to many people. This is why I'm explaining it in a comprehensible way. So, in Taoism, Yao or medicine is the raw material for the process of generating elixir or internal energy. Then, what are considered as the raw materials used in the refining process? The answer is Jing, Qi, and Shen, collectively called the Three Treasures. A popular saying in Taoism is, there are three treasures in the sky, the sun, moon, and stars. There are three treasures on the earth, water, fire, and wind. There are three treasures in the body, Jing, Qi, and Shen. This saying was mentioned in Huang Di Nei Jing, which translates to inner canal of the Yellow Emperor. 
This was the earliest book on Chinese medicine and has been considered the fundamental doctrinal source for Chinese medicine for over 2000 years. Now the question arises, what are Jing, Qi and Shen? This is the key question for today's topic. Let me elaborate it. Jing, Qi and Shen are considered medicine in Taoist practice. According to Tao's theory, Nei Dan or internal alchemy is the process of refine the Jing to Qi, refine the Qi to Shen, refine the Shen to emptiness. Tao's use these terms to describe the life improvement process of the path to immortality. I have already introduced the concept of the prime module and the post module in prior videos. In order to explain the concept of the Jing, Qi, and Shen, we have to apply these two terms here since in Taoism there are two types of Jing, Qi, and Shen. Those are prime module Jing, Qi, and Shen and the post module Jing, Qi, and Shen. Post module Jing refers to any substance in our body or any tangible substance including blood, saliva, sweat, and so on. Postmortal qi refers to breath or other respiratory activities. Postmortal shen is our mind, thought, or any mental and psychological activities. Primordial jing, qi, and shen refer to the energy inherited through one's parents. After one's birth, our primordial jing, qi, and shen will convert to postmodal jing, qi, and shen. Primordial jing, qi, and shen will only be consumed without practice. But postmodal jing, qi, and shen can be improved by intaking of nutrients uh, different exercises and other means. In Taoist practice, people try to practice Xiu Dao in order to nourish the primordial Jing, Qi, and Shen through internal practice. So, primordial Jing, Qi, and Shen are the same type of energy in different formats based on its application and the way to consume. This is why in Taoist documents, people always say that primordial Jing and Qi and Shen have three forms, but they all come from the same source of energy, the primordial energy or the original energy in human life. Therefore, in Taoist practice, people actually practice the primordial energy or primordial Jing Qi and the Shen, or the three treasures. Furthermore, primordial Shen or primordial spirit is our human nature. It is the master of the Jing and the Qi, since Shen or spirit controls the activity of Jing and the Qi. The primordial Jing is the energy in our mind. The primordial qi is energy in the emptiness, and the primordial spirit is the spirit given by our parents before our birth. Taoist practitioners cherish the primordial jing, qi, and shen and always differentiate them from the postmodal jing, qi, and shen. A famous Taoist poem written by Bai Yuchan says that the primordial Jing is not a physical entity in our body such as blood, tears, and others. It is as valuable as Jade Emperor's energy. The primordial Qi is not the breath, it is the mist in the heaven. The primordial Shen is not the thinking and other mental activities. It is the energy in the heaven. Now, all this sounds very confusing, maybe even weird to the Western mind. 
So let's simplify the three treasures. In Taoism, we focus on the primordial three treasures or primordial Jing, Qi, and Shen. There are the energies coming with our birth and need to be nourished through practice. Although they have three names, Jing, Qi, and Shen, they are just one primordial energy but in different forms. So in the future, whenever I mention the term Jing and Qi and Shen, you should think about the primordial forms, not the postmodial one, unless explicitly mentioned otherwise. Topic 3. Sambal's Significance Now that we have understood the concept of Sambal, let's talk about its significance in Xiu Dao. In philosophical Taoism, instead of accepting and following the natural aging process, Taoist practitioners applied the reverse flow of action as one of its guiding principles to maintain, repair, and improve the life cycle of human beings through specific methods. This method called Xiu Dao. Xiu Dao has been practiced since ancient times and is popular even today. In developing a practical system, prior Taoist practitioners created a huge system to explain, design, guide, and improve their practice. Sun Bao, the three treasures, or Jing, Qi, and Shen, are considered as the materials and the ingredients used in the refining process which happened in the stove and the burner metaf metaphorically. Since they are so important, Tao's practitioner called it supreme medicine. Without the correct understanding of the three treasures or primordial energy in our body, one will not be able to work on the right path. For example, if you think that Jing is just blood, or that Qi is just the breath, and the Shen is just a mental activity, then you will never be able to proceed in the right direction of Taoist practice. So, correct understanding of Sambao is critical to anyone who wants to improve their Taoist energy practice. From now on, I hope you will not try to comprehend and explain the term three treasures based on anything tangible in our body. The supreme medicine is intangible. Topic 4. Practice time. Few months ago, when the virus was rapidly spreading, I posted five Qigong videos as a potential energy exercise to help those who had to stay home and to have something to work on back then. I got some very positive feedback from different sources. Today, I'd like to follow up on that with some more exercise. First, you can just work on the first exercise. Then, at the end of each section, you can start to focus on Xiu Dao practice. Sit down comfortably on a chair or on the floor. Not necessary to sit cross-legged. Close your eyes and pay attention to the lower dantian area. Do not force yourself to focus on the lower dantian. Only be aware of it. If and when you find your mind wandering, try to bring it back to the lower dantian, but do not force it. You may feel a little tired after this section. That's fine. Do not worry about it at all. You can keep practicing it as long as you want for each section. The longer, the better. I would really appreciate if you could let me know your experience with this exercise in the comments section. Topic 5. Takeaways This video is not very long, but 
it may need to be revisited to gain a better understanding with time. Especially, the concept of sambao endowed practice requires constant attention. First, sambao, one of the important terms in Tao's practice, has been introduced, including its origin and definition. Second, sambao, especially primordial three treasures, or primordial jing, qi, and shen, including its significance, has been explained. 3. A further practice based on my prior Qigong videos has been introduced, and I hope you will practice this. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and enjoy your practice.